Hi guys and thank you so much for joining. So this video, as you can tell by the title, is all about DIYs with spray paint. Now I wanted to show you over here the madness that happened to me over the last year. I think last year before COVID started I had maybe three spray paints, like the basic ones, black, white, gold. Now I have a whole arsenal of different colors and I think it's one of the easiest ways to make DIYs and it's definitely a lot of fun. Just make sure to wear the nice mask to protect yourself. I hope you enjoyed these. I'm gonna link all of the spray paints that I've used down below. This is gonna be split into two parts because I've done six, six different DIYs. So this is the first part. Let's go. So for the first project, I had this gorgeous glass vase that I liked as is, but it was kind of getting dirty at the bottom and it was a challenge to clean it all the time. So I thought, why not have the bottom be spray painted? But because this is glass, it gave me an opportunity to have double sp spray paint, meaning it would be the bottom of it. The part that you see from the top would be this nice, beautiful kind of aqua color so this is a really nice uh, spray paint it's almost has the feeling of a paint like the paint you use on the wall and over here after the turquoise i wanted to have the gold another good spray paint i'm gonna link of course everything down below so the outside is gold but inside is this gorgeous turquoise but what unfortunately happened is I got everything messy on the top. So this was supposed to be clear glass. For some strange reason, I thought that that would not be touched. So if you do this, please make sure to use the tape all throughout. Uh, over here, I'm just peeling off the edge. Also not the sharpest. But first things first, I needed to figure out what to do with the top because it got spray painted all over. So what I did is I went to our Dollarama and it had 100% acetone. This is for nail polish remover. This needs to be 100% acetone because that is what removes it really, really well, as you can see over here. So here's the final result. Just look how beautiful it is. So the turquoise looks as if the flowers are in this gorgeous water and the gold is outside. I think it's just such a beautiful effect and definitely, definitely one of my favorite projects. Now this second project is, uh, I'm gonna let you decide what you think about this. <laughs> I definitely have my views. So I took a mason jar. This was an old soup jar that I just cleaned up and I had lots of rubber bands that I just piled on. No really rhyme or reason over here, just kind of going on top of each other. So here it is. By the way, I like the fact that some of them are thicker and some of them are thinner, just makes for a nicer variety. I taped up the top and the bottom much better than what I did before. <laughs> so I had these two gorgeous spray paints. One is Rust-Oleum Yellow and another one is Excel's Bright Neon Orange. And over here I'm trying to do a gradient from yellow to orange, but the glass would not take the spray paint really well. So I think I did like five layers. It was very hard because I did five layers, even after a day of drying, the spray paint was not moist but it was not dry either so when taking off all of the elastics it left this kind of mess over here like the I don't know how to describe it it's basically really messy and at first I was disappointed and I wasn't sure if I should even show you this but then I cleaned it up really nice and my fingers too <laughs> I cleaned up everything that went wrong with it and over here I'm showing you the final result and you know what I like it it's a little bit rougher around the edges than what I was hoping for, but I think it still looks kind of fun in its rustic way. Now for the idea number three, very simple. So I had coffee beans that I was about to throw away because they were old and I had the gold spray paint. <laughs> so the idea was to spray paint them. Now I had to do it a couple of times because of course certain sides would get the color and certain would not. So even over there you can see that some of them had the color and some did not. Uh, now I went over to my succulent section and I found this one smaller succulent and a smaller size cup and a glass. This was perfect because at the bottom I loaded up with my coffee beans and then I put on the top the actual 
the actual pot that I'm going to be planting the succulent in. Over here making a hole for the roots and planting our succulent. Now the next step that's a little more intricate is getting all of those coffee beans into the sides so that we have this effect of basically the succulent growing out of the coffee beans. And here's the final result. So very pretty and I think this looks very high end. Hope you enjoyed the DIYs and of course all of the materials are down below and please subscribe, like and share as always if you enjoy my work and stay tuned for the second part. Thank you. Bye.